All right, guys, another day in the life back of trading again, with Alex. Bro, baby. Back at it again. So today's looking like a little bit of a slower day. Um, let's start with the stock on top. So the stock on top, NRBO, yesterday went from 15 to 65. Insane, insane move. <laughs> and then it gave the entire move back, right? So because it gave the entire move back and because it tried to push in the morning uh, pre-market and failed, I'm gonna try to short this NRBO if it bounces. So maybe if it bounces around 35 or 40, I'm gonna try to get a bounce on it because right now it's at 27. So, you know, this stock really had no reason to run up. It was just being pumped by different chat rooms and alerts and a bunch of garbage. Um, so it sent it all the way up and then it sent it all the way down. So now that the top is in, now that a downtrend has started, I just want to piggyback that downtrend and follow that. Now, when did it when did it start dying out? Was that just last night? It started dying out around 11, 12 uh, in the afternoon because what ends up happening is towards the middle of the day, they just kind of go down because most of these stocks, they move on hype. And if the hype finishes, there's no reason for it to continue. Right. But now it's down. 9.5% pre-market, and I think that's probably gonna shoot up at the open one more time. And if it shoots up at the open one more time, people are gonna think it's gonna go to 60, it's gonna go to 70, but in reality, I think it's gonna come back down. So that's one trade that I'm looking at today. Another trade I'm looking at is like ADTX. So this stock, you know, is a reverse split. Um, so what that means is basically the stock was trading at 50 cents, and NASDAQ has a rule where stocks have to remain above $1, and what companies that are under a dollar do is they reverse split their stock. And pretty much what that means is kind of, changes the share price, you know, reduces the amount of shares on the market. So for example, a Ford split, which is what Tesla and Apple do, is very good for the company. A reverse split, which is what these scam companies do, is not really good. So NRBO was a reverse split. Pixie from last week was a reverse split. ADTX is a reverse split. So that is the theme that is pushing the market this week. So that's the stocks that are moving. Now ADTX is already starting to top out. It went from 32 down to 26. You said this was 50 cents? It was 50 cents the other day. So oh, yeah. 50 cents, I think it did a, what was it? I think it was like a 25 for one or something. I'm not sure what the, actually I can look it up. Let me see. One for 50. Wow. So that means 18.5. That means that the stock was at 37 cents yesterday. Okay, 37 cents. And today at $8, it's at 56 cents. So it's up pretty much 50% on no news. No news. Awesome. It's up 50% on no news. Everyone thinks it's gonna run to 60, 70, 80, like NRBO. But I think after it pushes at the open, it's gonna come back down. So we got five minutes until the open. We got two stocks we're watching. And that's pretty much it, bro, for now. Now, NRBO, is that still hard to borrow? Yes. But with our broker success trader, it was one penny to locate it. Uh, Off the amazing. times, real stuff like that is 50 cents, 60 cents. Right. ADTX was very cheap too. So you know, we have pretty much the best broker in the industry for short locate. So that's great. This ADTX is starting to look weak, bro. I'm really trying my best not to short it pre-market because oftentimes they just shoot up at market open and then you're like, shit. Yeah. So I'm trying to wait, and probably today's the day that I wait, it's just gonna crater down. Well, what can I do? Yeah, it's very unlike me waking up and seeing that box empty right there with no trades. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes, like if there's an opportunity, you know, I take a small starter, yeah. I like to nibble in. I like to, what I need to do is I need to have a little piece in the stock to pay attention to it because if I don't have money on the line, then I don't care. I'm like on my phone, I'm on YouTube, whatever. But even if I have 10 shares, 10 shares is like a, I don't know, $200 position. I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna pay attention, you know? Right. 9.30, we're starting. Going down. Oh wow. Oh wow, it always pops up and then go. This is crazy, this is the one time you don't pre-market it. It's just dropping. I got some at 25.70 for short. Okay. For small. Are you feel comfortable still getting it right there on the way down? Not really. I mean, I only took 200 shares, so okay. I took about a tenth of a position. Right. But I'm not really sure yet, dude. Okay, it's bouncing now. I got some more 26.9. I mean, you, you feel comfortable that it's that's weak enough that it doesn't matter almost. I mean, I would love for it to bounce. Yeah. But in case it doesn't. It might be real dead, huh? Slowly. Are those considered death candles right there? Kind of, but it's so early in the morning, bro. Like it just opened that like it could just shoot up on air. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So like, I don't really know yet, dude. I don't really know yet. So I'm, so I'm getting in really slow, bro. Like really slow. Just in case this thing goes like 28, 29, 30. That I'm not like looking at myself like, oh shit, what the hell just happened, you know? Right. So I'm trying to take it really slow. And this NRBO is crashing. I have, I can't do anything. Oh my God, there's no pops. ETX is bouncing this week. Add some more. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh oh. 
Nailed it, dude. That's amazing. Nailed it. That is amazing. All right, we got a, almost a 27 average, and it's trading at 25. That's a great time. I want to see it go a little bit under 25. What position do you put on this now? It's 2,000 shares. Very small, bro, because it didn't really pop as much as I thought it would. Right. Come on, go under 80. Wow, NRBO gave no room. Yeah, NRBO gave no pop, yeah. Nothing. All right, now we're just waiting around this ADTX. What is it gonna do? I found this other stock, CMRA, that was from the watch list that just failed. Whoa. And CMRA was supposed to be a short at 3.30 from the watch list, and it hit that exact and crashed, but that's too slow. Can't get them all, Kev. Come on, you gonna go down or what, cuz? Looks pretty damn broken to me, cuz. Oh, man. All right, I'm at 24.15, I got out of some. 24.15 was pretty much a dead low. Now it's at 24, 23.80, 23.90, I got out of some more. Oh my God. 23.35, out of some more. Up about 6K in six minutes, and that's the day. Like, that's it. After I'm out of the stock, I got 500 shares left. After I'm out of the stock, that's it. That's, that's it? it. You don't see anything else you like, huh? It's amazing. I got 500 shares left, I locked in 4,600, I got a little bit more, and just look at this, dude. Perfect entries. Perfect entries. Yeah, it's great. All right, look at this. Can't beat that, man. For the people right there. Now it's halted down. We wait five minutes. Oh wow, went that quick, huh? That's pretty much it, dude. Wow. So I caught ADTX. The members caught CMRA. And actually, bro, let's 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 prove it, right? Let's prove that this is not fake. CMRA backside is in. We'll look to short 330, 350, 370. This was posted at 858 AM. It hit 330 and 340 and cratered. Right That's there. right there, bro. Right there. You tell me, bro. You tell me. People think it's fake. Right in front of your eyes. Now we got about four minutes until this unhalts, and then when it unhalts, that's a trade. That's it's a pretty stress, uh, very unstressful yeah. day. 6K a day in seven minutes. Totally. Can't be that, man. That was only 2,000 shares, so I, I only had about $58,000 position, which is not too much money for me, right. $58,000 position. If you do with a $5,800 position, you make 600 bucks. Right, right, that's a no-brainer. Ten percent, bro. No, really. I made ten percent in six minutes. Huh? Market is down twenty percent in six months. <laughs> so even without the initial pops on the two that we were looking at, still able to squeeze something out there. It popped a little bit, and that's why I was like so cautious. I was like cautious to go on hundred shares, two hundred shares, right. and then when it failed, the VWAP. Just kind of, you know, normally on this stock, bro, right I would there. use, yeah. I would use more size than just two thousand shares, but I want to be a little bit. Uh, less risky today because honestly bro like i didn't get much sleep i'm a little bit tired um my third coffee of the day is not really working so like mm. on days that like you're really not feeling it that's not the days to push you got to be in the proper like mindset yeah proper emotional set proper everything and today bro i just wasn't feeling it so because i wasn't feeling it i didn't load up but you know bro it's, it's not so bad when you're not feeling it making type of money like this you know yeah okay. and this locate only cost me 14 bucks so it cost me 14 bucks oh, to make six grand and that's why we use the broker we use all right so this should open up here in one minute as soon as this opens up it craters again take the money and run right nice early day huh very good entries bro this is a great trade this was a great trade because I waited for it to top out, and I shorted the bounce. And that was uh, that top out over there was a, was a pre-market, right? This was around 8 a.m. So I avoided, I avoided, I avoided. Market open came, and I just hit it, bro. All right, so it's gonna open up in 18 seconds. Was that on the uh, watch list two SP? It was RC? a watch list to avoid. Okay, it opened mm -hmm. 22.6. Wow, uh, 22.6 out more. I'm trying to get out the rest. I got 22.6 on the rest. That's awesome, dude. That's amazing. I got literally the bottom. Today I'm done. 6,600 bucks. Well, that's it, bro. Throw an extra 600 in there. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And it is that's right. yeah, have a literally 940, not even 942. That's it. Well, that's pretty much it, bro. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> that's pretty much a day. Like, you know, a lot of people, they sit around all day long. They try to trade all day long. Uh, but the reality is, bro, less is more. You don't really need to trade every single day. You don't need to trade all day long. I traded for about 10 minutes. And I made a pretty decent amount of money. Yeah, I've seen you stressed, Alex. This was a very stress-free uh, stress day. Yep. It's very nice. Yep. Can't beat that one. And look, it's going lower. <laughs> Bro. Wow. Just going lower. It'll literally keep going. This thing, this bitch is gonna tank. I mean, it has no reason trading in the 20s. RIP to the guy that bought 28, bro. But that's what happens. You don't know it. A lot of people, they don't know any better. Right. Made 14% cuz. 14% return on my money. So whatever type of money you were using, maybe you used $20,000 for this trade. You would have made $3,000. Let's say you used $200,000 on this trade. You would have made 
thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. Pretty good return, dude. In a small amount of time, hell yeah. <laughs> All while helping some members too, you know. Yeah. We always forget Alex is actually literally teaching people as he's trading too, and making this money. Definitely not easy. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah, this thing is crashing, man. Oh man. So George turned off the camera, and immediately when he turned off the camera, it tanked another two dollars. <laughs> But that's it. This could have been now a ten thousand dollar trade, but dude, this is gonna this is gonna go down to fifteen dollars. And that's the thing, bro. That's what we teach our guys. We teach our guys stock selection. People always ask, how do you find these stocks to trade? You know, after trading for eight and a half years, finding the stocks to trade is the easiest part, man. It's still going lower. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm an idiot, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, there was no pops today. They just went straight I got the down. only pop, bro. Yeah, I mean, literally one little pop right there. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Uh, so used to you used to sometimes hold stocks for like hours. I remember. What? Um, I mean, did you mature into like? Is that like something like a young person would do, or like, I don't know, like what is? Honestly, bro, it depends on the stock, man. Like some girls, you gotta take them to the movies. You gotta take them to dinner. You gotta get them nice flowers. Some girls, you don't have to. It's the same thing with stocks. Some stocks are different. Every stock has a different personality. So because this stock was a little bit of a weird personality, I didn't want to take it on a second date. I didn't want to introduce it to my parents. I want to get in there and I want to get out of there. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the analogies like that, bro, people understand. You know? Yeah, yeah. The stock is not wifey. Get in, get out. <laughs> Hit it and quit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now for a trader that wants to keep trading, is NRBO a, a pop something to go for? Is Remember, that... NRBO, the plan was to short around $35. So it's at $28 right now. If it goes towards $35, it might be okay. But if it doesn't go to $35, I just made so much money, bro, why am I gonna risk it? Right. It's like, I just won at the casino, and while I'm up, I'm like, you know what? Let's go to the roulette table. No, you know, f it, I'm gonna go play craps. And all of a sudden, you look at yourself, you're like, where the hell did my money go? And that's the problem. When you're up a little bit, human nature is to be greedy. So I'm sitting back here, bro. I don't want to be anywhere near this thing right now. Because right. if I get back into it, then it's something, I'm going to find something, bro. I'll find something. Right. And playing it with house money is nice, but it becomes a time where it's like, hey, you know what? Just take the money. Look, I have a give back rule where it says that I could f around, but I can only give back 10% of my profits. So if I make 6,600 bucks, I'm only allowed to lose 600 bucks, and then that's an cut off. Another one, BIAF. Right off the watch list. BIF on the watches was an avoid on the short side. Avoid. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Look at that. The ball. You listen, you make the money. Hey, you wanna listen? <laughs> Alright, Alex. We made that 6600 in about 10 minutes. Yes, sir. What do you want to do today, man? Let's do something with that money. Let's. What are you uh, Any ideas? You know what? I uh, I was thinking, let's go Let's go shooting. We got a nice little Don't skeet shooting. Range. Yeah, a nice little range. Let's do it. Let's get let's it done. Go, let's go right now. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're going out, and we're, we're, we're having some fun today. Vlog day, baby. All right, we're now here at the skeet shooting range. Just finished trading, and let's see who's gonna get a better score, me or George. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, cut? Let's do it, How you think you're gonna shoot? So cool, bro. <laughs> I am not good at this shit. I'm good at shooting the stocks, not shooting the actual guns. <laughs> but you gotta watch out for this guy, bro. He doesn't say much, but he's good. <laughs> Yo, Jabs, that was wild, cuz. You like that? Yeah, I put him right here for you. He didn't miss. <laughs> five for five, huh? I wanna get you guys a better gun. No, it don't matter. It, it huh? depends a little bit. Let's go, Black. Let's go, baby. Yeah, it's bad. Can I have those Boys, we're taking this down. Are you guys liking up there? 
We can take it down. No, we gotta go down there. Yeah, we can go down. I got some practicing cuz I'm feeling good. All right, I like that. I like that. <laughs> we got Vladimir Putin with us. This guy's at least 85 yeah. years old, cuz. Look at him, cuz. He's pulling his straight and then he's going up a little bit. See? <laughs> it doesn't wait for it to be up, you know? That was definitely in the military. Wow. Uh, wow, well, he just missed his first one. 